Hello, my name is Brandon Draper. In this presentation, we will be discussing the different benefits that have been found through many case studies that creative art therapy has on those suffering mental illness, such as schizophrenia, major depressive disorder, serious mental illness, depression, anxiety, PTSD, ADHD, and many other disorders. CAT is found in inpatient and outpatient programs and conducted by professionally licensed art therapists having either a master's degree or bachelor's degree in the field and are specifically trained in examination and interpretation of the subtleties that a patient demonstrates through artistic expression, such as line, color, shape, depth, shading, voice, projection, and expression. To the untrained eye, these seemingly minor details would be overlooked. While there are many different creative art therapies such as play, visual art, music, dance, drama, and creative writing, each one has its own benefit and all of them have been found effective in treating mental illness. Though these findings support the amazing benefits of CAT, it is still advised that patients with severe mental disorders also seek appropriate medications and other therapy options such as cognitive behavioral therapy. Because of the recent and rapid developments of CAT, it lacks history, research, and data. A recent focus has highlighted CAT and research is surfacing, but some aspects of this type of therapy remain speculation. Chang et al. 2019 discuss a few working theories that revolve around neuroscience and the rerouting of pathways as a direct function of CAT. The first theory describes a somatosensory reaction in response to the many elements involved with the art-making process. The somatosensory system is a complex system of sensory neurons and neuropathways that respond to these changes, states Wikipedia Contributors 2019. Secondly, a theory known as Expressive Therapies Continuum ETC, makes a strong argument that three components involved with CAT and art in general when practiced influence three coordinating areas of brain functioning, specifically sensory processing. These areas are number one, the kinesthetic and sensory stimulation involved with art creation and its impact on the parietal lobes. Number two are the perceptual and affective stimulations involved with art creation and their impact on the limbic system, which includes the hypothalamus, the hippocampus, and the amygdala. And lastly, the cognitive and symbolic stimulation involved with art creation and its influence on emotion to the prefrontal cortex. This effect of artistic expression triggers emotional, affective, and perceptual responses that help reshape psychological and decision-making processes, declares Chang et al. 2019. Further research and brain imaging need to be conducted to determine the validity of theoretical positions concerning somatosensory involvement in influencing positive change for the mentally ill. Schizophrenia, major depressive disorder, and serious mental illness have been linked to dysregulation in white matter density and inflammatory states that have been thought to contribute to the impaired cognition and symptoms avert observed in these disorders. Chang et al. 2019. A sound reasoning for creative art therapy's ability to influence this is an animal study that found obtainment of new motor skills and spatial learning can encourage changes in white matter and increase myelination. Evidence from post-mortem genetic neuroimaging and non-human animal research suggests that major depressive disorder is associated with abnormalities in brain myelin content. Satchett and Gottlieb, 2017, paragraph 1. A separate study shows correlation in pianists between brain connectivity, white matter development, and practice time in children and adolescents. Visual art therapy are often some of the most frequently used methods in CAT. These methods can vary from reflection on emotions evoked by famous paintings or sculptures or creative components such as drawing, painting, and creating. Therapists guide patients in the creation of directed or undirected art that expresses one's emotions, symptoms, or memories. The therapist's guiding is often catered towards specific diagnoses and symptoms. For very young children, scribble drawing or coloring techniques are often used. Due to the tactile sense of 3D art, 
Clay work and sculpting can elicit a more visceral physical experience for some patients. Ch Chang et al. 2019 found in a 2016 case review that patients with psychotic disorders noted that several case reports and qualitative studies demonstrated psychosocial improvements to self-esteem, self-expression, self-awareness, emotional distress, emotional well-being, and artistic skill as a result of creative art therapy. Also, a recent case study of 100 individuals with major depressive disorder in a six-week clay therapy randomized control trial demonstrated cognitive function improvement as well as significant reductions in depressive symptoms. Music therapy, probably my favorite of all, is another of the most commonly used methods of CAT. These methods, like visual art therapy, can be active where patients are involved in the creation or production of music, or methods can be receptive or reflective as a patient listens to a piece and then discusses emotion and conducts lyrical interpretation. Prior musical experience and physical ability is often taken into consideration when music therapy plans are made for an individual. Two reviews from 2016 and 2017 of 1,000 patients concluded that half of the patients reported significantly improved outcomes in positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia when involved in both active and receptive music therapy treatment forms. It was reported that improvements were advanced in social functioning and quality of life for these patients, as well as significant improvements in psychotic symptoms, depression, and self-esteem. Chang et al. 2019 state, quote, a recent study comparing receptive versus active music therapy in the treatment of depression demonstrated that receptive music therapy may achieve its maximal therapeutic effects more rapidly, but the peak effect of active music therapy appears to be greater, end quote. In a separate study of 99 patients with severe mental illness, it was determined that individuals reported better quality of life and increased spirituality, self-esteem, and appreciation for the intervention facilitators and would recommend the intervention to peers. Lastly, a study of music therapy for patients diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder demonstrated significant reduction in obsessive symptoms and secondary symptoms of depression and anxiety. Chang et al. 2019. Trauma and theater. Wikipedia contributors 2019 state, quote, unlike traditional arts expression, the process of creation is emphasized rather than the final product. The expressive therapies are based on the assumption that people can heal through the various forms of creative expression. Expressive therapists share the belief that through creation, expression, and the tapping of the imagination, people can examine their body, feelings, emotions, and thought processes, end quote. Every study examined in the Chang, Reed, Varley, and Fan 2019 piece, Creative Art Therapy for Mental Illness, showed improvement for every patient in social functioning and emotional expression by the end of their intervention. Acting skills increase social functioning skills and abilities by creating better understanding of empathy and practicing these emotional gifts through imagination and considering how it might feel to be in someone else's shoes. Drama and theater provide a safe place for a patient to step out of introspection and introversion and experience conversations and relationship in new and un unique ways. One study reviewed 60 individuals in this type of creative art therapy and results showed a significant decrease in negative symptoms. Another study of 24 individuals found significant improvement to self-esteem and feelings of inferiority. Active participation and enthusiasm took time to develop over the program, but eventually, after an adjustment period, participant engagement took place and progress began to take form. Dance and movement. Psychotherapeutic use of movement aids in the treatment of mental disorders. Therapy typically begins with basic movements such as walking before advancing into more difficult and technical skills. This therapy is unique in the CATs through its increased ability to create the mind-body connection while improving physical and aerobic health. Chang et al. 2019 
found in a study of 45 individuals that dance therapy resulted in a greater reduction in negative symptoms of schizophrenia compared to a control group, and in a different study of 67 individuals, of which a mean age was 60 years old, significant improvements were made in cognitive functioning, quality of life, and physical ability, such as walking, balance, and strength, compared to its control group. A final study of 38 individuals resulted in reductions of anger, depression, and negative symptoms compared to treatment as usual controls. The CAT form expressive and creative writing involves personal journaling, crafting poetry, fiction, autobiographies, and memoirs, allowing patients opportunity for expression and emotional release which increases confidence and cognitive function in patients. Chang et al. 2019 examined a case study of 40 participants with major depressive disorder who were split into two groups. The first group were asked to write about their deepest thoughts and feelings through expressive writing. The second control group simply journaled about daily events. Both groups wrote for 20 minutes a day for three consecutive days. The experimental group demonstrated significant improvement in depression compared to the control group with effects persisting four weeks after completion. In five other studies consisting of 633 patients, a writing therapy group compared to a control group for post-traumatic stress showed that writing therapy robustly resulted in a substantial reduction of post-traumatic and comorbid depressive symptoms across all studies. Child-Centered Group Play Therapy, or CCGPT, promotes social emotional assets and resiliencies, such as friendship skills, empathy, interpersonal skills, emotional competency, self-concept, and self-management. Most group play is facilitated by trained individuals who guide, direct, and facilitate play while coaching, redirecting, and correcting undesired behavior. A study conducted by Cheng and Ray 2016 sourced 43 participants from Title I schools in the Southwest United States. All children were enrolled in kindergarten and either five or six years of age. Children were referred by their teacher or school counselor for this study due to apparent problems or emerging deficits in social emotional assets and exhibited by specific behavioral, emotional, or interpersonal concerns. 30 participants were male and 13 were female. 20 of these individuals were randomly assigned to the CCGPT group and 22 were assigned to a control group. It was determined that the impact of the CCGPT demonstrated substantial positive outcomes in regard to social emotional assets, social competence, and empathy. These improvements were not determined in the control group kindergartners. CCGPT facilitates and supports children to explore and expand their social, emotional, and cognitive competencies through physical play. It was stated that these children became more attuned to their own and others' feelings and needs as well as to learn to express themselves in socially appropriate ways. A somewhat unrelated element that I found interesting was Cheng and Ray's declaration that Quote, most children are capable of conceptually understanding empathy, but may not emotionally experience it. In a different study by Aziz Arora Ali and Ansari 2017, examined the effectiveness of CCGPT in children with ADHD, specifically exhibiting inattention, hyperactivity, impulsivity, and anxiety. These 30 children were male and female, and between the ages of 6 and 12. After analysis, it was determined that CCGPT was effective in lessening inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity in ADHD children. Play therapy has a positive impact on all general behavioral problems, self-concept, self-efficacy, depression, anxiety, and treatment compliance. Thank you for joining me during this presentation and the examination of these informative case studies on creative art therapy. If CAT seems like a beneficial option for you or a loved one, there is abundant information available and more is being populated frequently. 
Equipping yourself with the knowledge of this therapy could be of great benefit to your future or the future of another. Thanks again for joining me, and may God bless you.